you see before your eyes are M16A4 uppers. There's a whole lot of them right there. And guess what? There's more where that came from. So here in a minute, I'll be taking a few of these uppers outside and get a better look with some better lighting. Stand by. So here I grabbed a representative sample, three to be exact. Let's take a better look at the markings on these uppers. Right there, you have the F mark. Get a square forging mark. Your Matex site. Moving forward. There's your PNS products rail. Here are the barrel markings. Right there, that's FN's cage code. MP556 NATO, one and seven twist. Another one. see the chrome lining yep, right there yeah, these are absolutely beautiful uppers So, like I said, didn't say, I can't remember, these differ a little bit compared to the other M16A4 uppers I have currently in stock. And here is how they differ. Major difference is the carry handle sight versus the backup rear sight. It's going to be your major difference as well as the rails. These are identical, folks. Quality, craftsmanship is identical. These are manufactured by Knights Armament. These are manufactured by PNS. That is the only difference, folks. And here on uh, this upper, we have a key forge mark. For the most part, Everything I've been seeing as far as as far as these uh, FNM 16A4 uppers with the Maytek rear sight and PNS rails, these have square forge marks. Most of these have keyhole forge marks. Mm. As far as quality goes, they are identical. I'm not really up on my forging marks, but in any case, they are the same quality. Now we are going to go over the specs on these FN M16A4 uppers, starting with the upper receiver. There are a few specific markings I'd like to go over. First, you have the F mark right there. Then you have the square forging mark. What that tells us is that these were produced by Brass Aluminum Forging Enterprises. Uh, they, they make upper receiver forgings for a wide variety of different manufacturers. Obviously, uh, FN finished this one. That's why, it's, that's why there's an F mark. Uh, moving on, we have the T marks right here. As you can see. And then you get this Maytek rear sight, which is covering the T2 mark. I'll have that Maytek rear sight taken off for you to look at here in a bit.
Here I have the Maytec rear sight taken off. You can get a better look at it. There's your elevation lever. Everything seems to lock up nice and tight. Also, you can see your cage code there on the bottom. It reads 0GU83. I believe that is Matex cage code for this item. I mean, it's got to be. <laughs> also note that the Matex rear sight uh, it was a little hard to get off, but it, it it didn't take too much effort. So there's that last T mark. Alright, let's look inside this receiver. As you can see, quite clean, quite nice. The gas tube right there. See inside the chamber, see the chrome lining. All right, let's, let's move further along. Let's check. Dust cover for function, works great. For assist, nice and springy. All right, here's your delta ring. It is nice and tight. A lot of spring tension there. These rails are certainly not coming off. Let's see, use a good bit of force. All right, I just removed the lower part of the rail. Here you can see the heat shield, as well as PNS Products Inc. Their uh, logo there and uh, their cage code. Let's go ahead and take the upper portion of the handguard off. Bear with me here. Alright, it's nice and loose. We'll leave that retained in there. Alright, let's see about getting this course. Damn. Rail covers get in the way sometimes. That is for sure. Alright, I got that Matek off again. Get the rail cover off, so let's go ahead and take this rail off. Alright. There we go, folks. It's a lot lighter with that rail off, I can tell you that much. Alright, so you can see the underside of the barrel. Let's go ahead and look at the top here. Again, it says PNS Products, gauge code. Good look at the upper portion of the rail. Alright, now under here. Looks like there's a date stamping, and it says, let's see if I can get it on camera, it says 8 slash 12, it's right underneath the gas tube. So I'm guessing that was the date in which this upper receiver was manufactured. So 2012, it's not too long ago. All right. Took the rail covers off, and we can see all the other markings. Yep. All right, 
Moving on down the barrel, let's take a look at the front side base. So your end cap right there, with the triangle variety, your sling loop, bayonet lug. All right, markings on the front side base. You got an 84 right there. I can tell you um, some of them are marked seven. Some of them are marked 81. Um, they, they seem to have, there seems to be a fairly wide variety of numbered numeral markings on these front sight bases. Not every single one of them is, I've confirmed that, is uh, F marked. Some have this A, K right next to the F mark. Not really sure what that means, but it's there on, on some of the front sight bases. Right, looking at the markings on the barrel, so let's get that to focus correctly. Uh, come on! All right, let's, let's see the cage code right there. MP. 556 five, NATO 1 and 7 twist. And that cage code, that is FN's cage code. That's 3S679. Shame on me for having a bad camera, otherwise known as my phone. So. Last but not least, get the flash hider. A2 variety, obviously. 